Yes, guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I'm at Highgate Hall. St. Michael once again. Now looking towards the Lloyd Erskine Sandy First Centre, which was once the Sherwin Conference Centre. And this road will lead you back to the Prime Minister's residence at Lower Court and the Governor General's residence at Government House, at Government Hill. This is the IMARC 1 Highgate Hall uh, Mall with IMARC Pharmacy at it. And another branch of the 1 Highgate Hall. The other half of 1 Highgate Hall with Keith Shepherd and Company and Starbucks Coffee and Subway Restaurant. Standard appliance store was down here years ago and the Slam 101.1 FM radio station is also down here and UPS and the Stanley Center and so on all down here Yes guys, this is Haggett Hall, St. Michael. So standard used to be down here, standard appliance store, and you can see Sky Mall over here, which was once Julian Supermarket. And the one Haggett Hall Mall. And the one I get home out of a mark pharmacy. No approaching the emancipation statue, which was once, which is Buster, the Buster roundabout. So this is the Buster statue, once again, which is also referred to as the Mount Pearson statue. So this is the Master Pearson statue, once again, which we also refer to as the Buster statue. And it was unveiled by local sculptor, Charles Brodhagen, in 19... It was sculpted by local sculptor, Charles Brodhagen, in, in 1985, sorry. Again, looking at the Bussa statue, known as the Emancipation statue, which was sculpted by a local sculptor. Well, he was he's a Guyanese born Barbadian sculptor, Carl Bodhagen. I did my research. At first, the research said he was a Barbadian, but I researched it more, and they said that he's a Guyanese born, but he was he, he lived in Barbados for a very long time. His name is Carl Bodhagen, and he sculpted the Bassa statue in 1985. And again, this is also a part of the ABC Highway, which runs from the ABC Highway, which runs from um, the Granley Adams Airport in the south to the University of the West Indies at KFA campus. 
which is to the west. Again, we are looking at Sky Mall here, which was once Julien Supermarket. It was Julien first. It was built here in the 90s, the mid 90s. It was opened officially in December of 1995 as Julien Supermarket. And then in 2003, it was renamed Troy Mark Supermarket. And then in 2012, it was renamed. In 2008, it was more international. And then in 2012, it was renamed Sky Mall. When it was Julien, this was a mega massive supermarket. So at first, the research said that Car Buddy, Car Buddy Hagen was a Barbadian, but, but Buddy Hagen and those sort of names are not Barbadian names. So I knew for, for well that it was not a Barbadian name. So I did more research and it said that he was a Guyanese. He was born in 1909 and died in 2002 at the age of 93. Yes, guys. So this is the, um, the ABC Highway. Looking this way alone will lead back to the north of the island via the Bell, further into Haggett Hall, back to Warrens, and so on. So this is all Haggett Hall, all along the, along the ABC Highway in Barbados. The ABC Highway was the plan of Barbados' second Prime Minister, Tom Adams, who wanted the highway to be built for motorists to have easy access, especially to industrial estates across the island, instead of having to go the long haul route. So Tom Adams created the highway in the mid 80s and the highway was completed by 1989 but sadly Tom Adams did not live to see the highway completed Tom Adams died four years before the highway was completed the highway was finished by 1989 and Tom Adams died in 1985 so this is the yard for Sky Mall which was one Julian supermarket had another Julian outlet in town in Bridgetown by the bridge and they had another one in Round the View of Worthing on the south coast So this road here that I'm looking at will lead you back to the south, I mean to the east of the island, back to Map Hill and Six Road in St. Philip. So the statue depicts Buster freeing the chains off his hand, holding the chains signaling the ending of slavery. Buster is a national hero of Barbados, even though he is not a Barbadian. He was from Africa, but he was a slave at Bailey's Plantation in St. Philip, where musician Eddie Grant operates his studio from now. He was a slave there and he led the slave rebellion in 1816. He's a national hero of Barbados. Back at Sky Mall at Haggard Hall. 
So there are lots of shops and so stores in there now. In Askai Mall. Yeah, James. Yeah. Back in 1998, when Fidel Castro visited Barbados, he, along with the Prime Minister, when after, led had a meeting, a, a gathering, in this roundabout on the 1st of August, which is in uh, Emancipation Day, and they had their gathering right here in this roundabout. So you can actually go in the roundabout and read the history on butter and the roundabout. So this roundabout was carved here while the ABC highway was building. At that time the ABC highway was building. It wasn't fully a highway yet, but it was building. So straight ahead, but now we'll lead back to the south of the island with the Point area and CDC and St. Barnabas. So CDC, which is our radio station. It's just up the road from here and the point set micro. This is this was once this area was once sugarcane and I just tell you before this area this was not always a road. This section of the road was not always a road. Only the road straight ahead coming from the Prime Minister's residence side at Ilawa Court. Heading straight across to the east of the island. Like straight ahead here we need about a map hill. This is St. Michael and Battle St. George with Dash Valley and South District and Boarded Hall and Battle St. Philip which is to the east of the island with Bearfield will be six roads and so on and that was this was the only road in the area before the highway started to construct This is the road that most people Yeah, 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 Corinne. This is the road that most people use now to get to the parish of St. Philip, which is to the east of the island. St. Philip is southeast. So for me, 
to give you more information on the roundabout about have to go inside but I will not be able to do that because there's lots of traffic Sky Mall is known as the mall that has it all. First of all, so once upon a time, all here used to be countryside. The cans all around. So thank you guys for watching now. Have a blessed evening.